Patrick Warren's death continues to get national attention and mental health experts are now weighing in on the case. Six News reporter Jasmine Caldwell spoke to a mental health attorney who says not only is the right training needed in these situations, but so is the funding. Carolyn Reinek Wolf is the executive partner and director of the mental health law practice at Abrams Finsterman in New York. She works closely with families whose loved ones suffer from mental health issues. That's why the shooting of Patrick Warren caught her attention. She says it's important for police departments to have mental health response teams who understand what language to use, how to have a conversation, or how to be in the space of someone dealing with a mental health crisis. She says more cities need to make it a priority to get police departments better funding for mental health crisis teams. We need money to fund um, police departments, social services agencies to be able to form these teams to work collaboratively and to have response teams that are not just police, but include social workers, psychiatrists, case managers. Other than the police, Raynek Wolf says some families can also call mobile crisis teams who are trained to respond to mental health crisis. Here in Bell County, the Texas Health and Human Service contracts with three local mental health authorities. Reporting in Colleen, Jasmine Caldwell, 6 News. And coming up tonight at 6, we will speak to Patrick Warren's son about the tragic moment his father was killed in front of him. Also, if you or someone you know is having a mental health crisis, you can call the Texas Department of Health's new mental health support line. The number is 1-833-986-1919. That line is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.